expensive kalongolongo taxation where even a young man who gets married pays a tax to the government people will not get married they will just come we stay together very soon they will come if you have a child we tax that one god forbid i am very delighted to join the congregation this morning to pray as you know, today is uh, the first Sunday after my birthday. So the first. So I'm very happy to be here this morning because I'm still a young child. Just, 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 just born the other day. <laughs> yeah, but um, as Aburu has said, uh, we have fond memories of this church. Uh, when we were growing up as children, we used to come to pray here, but we were also actually learning, you know, just next door there. That's where we went to, to nursery school and primary. Therefore, we are very, very much part and parcel of this church. As you also said, Jamogi was very much associated with this church. And him, like Professor said, and the late Bishop Okulu broke the ground here. And I was present during that occasion. So it became Jeremogi's passionate project together with the late Jobomino. When Jeremogi died, Jobomino took over. And with Job, we did several rambles for this church here. When Job passed on, I took over the mantle to ensure that this church was completed and completed in a decent way. So I'm, I'm happy to have been able to make a little contribution to make this church what it is today. This coming Saturday, as has already been stated here, is going to be Jaramogi's 30th anniversary. And we say that before we go to Papa Memorial Hall for other functions, we we'll start the function here with a prayer from 10 o'clock on Saturday. And everybody is invited. Now, I don't want to make us speech in the church. It is very, very unwelcome to make political speeches in the church. But church and politics are intertwined like two meeting dogs. As you know, <laughs> the first politician was Jesus. And um, Jesus gave very many remarks which can be interpreted to be political remarks. But today we have learned also that um, it was not only uh, uh, Zakayo who was the tax collector. We have also learned about Matthews. <laughs> My Matthews here was also another tax collector. 
There's nothing wrong in collecting taxes. What is wrong is embezzling taxes which have been collected. And then if those taxes are punitive, then it is wrong because the people can no longer tolerate them. I am a proud member of the Anglican Church. But sometimes I feel embarrassed to when I see the Anglican Church silent in the face of a lot of what you can call uh, immorality and unfairness in society. We are very pleased with what the Catholic clergy have said and the role that they have been uh, continued to play in face of the kind of advers uh, adversities that we are facing today. But one, my friend, Sami Wainaina, the former provost of uh, uh, All Saints Cathedral, has spoken, and I think he has spoken on behalf of the Anglican Church. And he has actually told the hypocrites that what you have been doing is actually responsible for what we have today in our country. When you praise people and push them to the levels of saints that they are true Christians, you are actually elevating them to the levels where they think that they are completely uh, 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 untouchable. And this is what has happened in our country. The people who are masquerading as true Christians, people who are talking about liberation, liberating the people from poverty, from ignorance, and so on, have turned to be the oppressors of the people. And the church needs to speak. The late Archbishop Okulu, we remember. We remember Bishop Muge. We remember Bishop Gitari. This is the clergy that were prepared.